Breakout was really with SNS5. Yeah, absolutely. But when it comes to PGR V2, I think it's without a doubt that Defend the North is going to be a strong start for him as we begin this set against Samsor on Kalos Pokemon League for Game 1. And what a stage it is. We've got a lot of lateral space here. Both players able to cover it really well. We know Bowser's big body is going to be combo food, but Leon really hasn't cared about that at any point in his career. I don't think Leon cares about anything other than the buttons on his own controller, which probably are going to be worn out by the end of today because he's getting so many chances to press him going so far in this bracket. Oh, all right, turn up edge guards from Sam Sora here, perfectly angled right over the edge. Trying to take advantage of the fact that Bowser has minimal options from the ledge, and also take note of how deep Sam Sora is chilling, and Stitch even securing the first stock before Sam Sora even has to get within range. I feel like Leon just tried to catch that out of midair, and he's a brave soul for it, but it's going to be a stock down as well. Sam Sora just coasting right over that back air. I feel like if we're going to see any of that bravery come through from Leon, it's going to be in how he tries to break through this zone because it's just non-stop turnips. And I actually think it's a great idea from Sam Sora. It's probably the least committal thing that he can do from so far away. And, you know, we were talking about Smash and Splash 5, right? Leon's real breakout performance on the national scale. Tri State's known as good. But that's where everyone saw it for the first time. And part of that run was three stocking Sam Sora, but still losing the set. So he's got a chance for revenge here. There's a lot on the line for these players. Sam Sora trying to defend that record. Leon trying to tie it up. On top of that, it's worth noting that at this point in the bracket, Leon is, of course, the last remaining player from New Jersey. And Sam Sora, most notably being one of the only players from the South. So this is quite a literal defend of the North. Exactly. Oh man, and that Fire Breath just tacking on so much damage, actually putting Leon back in the lead. Just for a second though, Sam Sora gonna open him up with a grab, and he has stage positioning again. Can't be hanging on there for too long. Given the nature of both of these characters, I feel like the percentage game isn't going to be nearly as important. We know that Sam Sora is gonna get his long hitting strings, and we know that Leon's gonna make every hit matter with tons of damage. But the stage positioning and control of the ledge is going to be so important for both of these players because Leon is pressured oh! so heavily until he breaks zone. Is that Wolf? Yo, we got big claws on the field. It doesn't matter. All right. And that's what I was saying. Sam Sora, keeping all of that distance is so smart of him. He's making sure that he doesn't allow Leon even the chance to get in range. And he's still living nearly 200. All right, finally, the turn up off stage going to be what seals his fate. But Leon getting his money's worth out of every single stock here. This character is so big. Fattest in the game. Excuse me, by a pretty notable margin. Turn up in hand. Let's see what Ooh. he can do with it. It's going to be stick facing the forward half. Look at these numbers already red hot. Barely laying into the set down, be not going to be connecting. I like the attempt from Leon. Oh, but it doesn't How's matter. That, that should be attempt? it. No, it's still not over. Carlos with those platforms right over the edge. So he's, he was real close to the blast zone, but those blast zones are quite large. One more let time. Let me get a repeat and let and me get game one in favor of Leon. No way you're surviving a second one of those past the triple digit range. Absolutely ridiculous. Leon has shown up. Look at this, the crowd already going insane. Sansora is looking undeterred at this rate. I feel like he's not going to get turned too badly from his play, but he has to watch out for just one little break in his gameplay. All of a sudden, stocks get deleted. It does not matter how much damage is on. It does not matter how well he's controlling the stage, but let's see if a change of setting has any impact as we move forward. And this crowd just going absolutely ape for Leon. I love it, man. Tri-State knows how to show up and support their own. Nobody's leaving this crowd. They all want to see if Bowser really is about to win this tournament. It's going to be insane. This is, without a doubt, one of the best placings that Bowser has seen to date. It's some of the best wins it's gotta along be the, the way. Best one. It's got to be the best one. There's I, top three at a, an A slash B tier. And the way that Leon's playing, it's not stopping here. Can you imagine guaranteed bird not being good enough for you? Yeah, right? Like, this man is still hungry, and he got a big body to feed, right? So he needs some big wins to satisfy himself. Oh, the traps from Sam. Sorry, even going to catch that roll in. <clears throat> all right. Oh, all right. Beautiful pickup from Sam. Sora. Bringing things back into his favor. Not a lot of damage built up either. However, retreating to the ledge, a very interesting choice. But Leon doesn't take advantage of the situation. He's finding himself right back to being cornered between the platform and the ledge. Yeah, it's no easy task for him, not only to get off the edge, but also out of the corner. So Sam Sora going to push that advantage as far as possible. Leon, though, taking it back into his favor. Oh, no, back here just a bit too slow. Sam Sora keeping those hitboxes on himself. Trying to box with Peach in the air is no easy feat. Mm. But when you have a command grab, you got all the options in the world. It doesn't matter how good Sam Sora is trying to microspace with that floating. When he's trying to look for 
the whiff punish on some sort of wayward aerial, and then all of a sudden you have a fast moving move. It's crazy to think, like, Samsara has to think on so many layers with his movement already, and just like that, even getting caught out for just grabbing a turnip back out of the air. Yeah, Peach normally just able to pressure so safely with those floating aerials, but Whirling Fortress, bouncers up the outer shield, really dangerous, shakes that pressure off. You saw it against Light, Fox, another character who normally has this airtight pressure, but just does not work against a character like this. When it comes to taking traditional understandings of Smash, we tend to just think of the big bodies as those heavy hitting combo foods. We don't really stop to think like what that really means for these characters. They don't have to look at things as normally as we do. When it comes to just being able to swing and how much that really matters for one hit, for one grab. Leon's playing a different game from what we're used to seeing, and no one has seemed to figure out a surefire game plan to fight it back. He's pretty much at least doubling Samsora's percent every stock. Not quite so severely, but like a, a significant survival gap between these players. Either way, Samsora could have closed that stock out. Leon, one more chance here in game two. Oh, yeah, Samsora, sorry. the classic, yep. Oh, he went for the second there. Beautiful. He knew that Samsora was going to DI, right? He knew that he was going to be able to get himself out of the way of the back air. Leon getting kind of clobbered at the beginning of this last stock here. But like you said, Hangman, he's playing a different game than the rest of us. He could just acknowledge that his character basically spawns at 70, 80%, and he can juice the stock for as long as possible. Either way, Sam Sora not going to afford him that opportunity, just completely decimating his final stock. Two stock of his own to take game two here. Even set. It's basically a best of three now. Curious to see what like Leon's gonna do as far as stages are concerned. The pick is gonna be going to Battlefield, and I feel like Peach is able to contest space on the stage very well. She's able to use the platforms for safer landing. She's able to contest control of them with her nair, her up air, her back air, so on and so forth. And it's not out of the question to see vertical extensions of her combos, but Leon has the opportunity to flying fortress through a lot of that pressure. He's got his own safe landings, and Fortier covers a ridiculous amount of space here. You've also got the side B getting a higher launch pad when you land with it here on Battlefield. Wow, that was funky. Almost getting stuck underneath the stage. Not sure if that would have killed both of them if, if it went through. But either way, Samsora with the crazy start gonna roof him with the parasol. Ooh, haven't seen a kill like that in a long time. Yeah, definitely a hot minute. All right, how's he gonna get back down to the ground here? Leon just staying patient, but you saw he dropped his shield before doing the up B there, and that's a cost him to punish those additional 11 frames. And even trying to go in with this side before the command grab, it's difficult now, especially when the battle's on the ground. Even though Bowser is relatively quick, like, Samsora's idea of space is so good, and his movement's always so clean. Oh, Leon freezing up a little bit there for the punish, wanted the side B, just got stuck in shield for some extra time. Oh, Samsora though. Bring him up with the up airs and the fade. I love that. Just backs off in float, entices Leon to put a shield up and says, nope, I'm going to get a grab and just keep the damage flowing from the advantage state. Oh, they're coming off the second row of the platforms and that's going to be that stock. Bowser still chilling, 122. We could easily see Bowser be able to bring up this damage after a couple of extensions, but trying to contest the way we're landing from Samsora. We're going to see deep off stage. Leon is coming back. Yeah, Bowser's oh. weight and kill power basically give him a natural comeback factor, but it doesn't matter if Samsora's all over these ledge options where Bowser suffers the most, we're not even going to get to see it come into play. And now we're seeing a lot of what we had in the beginning of game one. Ooh, so close! Oh, God. That down smash, man, just a ridiculously powerful tech chase option, especially in the corner. Samsora just frames away from his own death there. And Sam trying to keep the, the balance of stage control where he's not completely backed into the corner, but he wants a lot of space between him and Leon. Much like in game one. Top flat. Trying to space with turnips, not being enough as Leon is short hopping his way through. And Another off the top one. rope, we've got tied stocks once again. All right, and this 75% deficit, not all that bad for Leon. That's basically one clean combo from Peach. So as long as he just mentally processes it as having already happened on the first stock, this is anybody's game still. Opting for the Ooh, down throw crazy. so he can try and get the stage control, but it's putting him in a bad spot. Gonna meet a turn up. I don't think it should even be a surprise when he goes off and does this crazy stuff. I mean, this guy's entire play style is so bizarre, so it, headstrong. He clearly has no self-control. Blood in the air, he just wants another kill. But the way that he does it with Bowser is just so smart. We're reading the jump out of shield, fantastic play from Samsora, but it's not enough yet to take game three. Yeah, that post patch forward air, just a little shy of taking the KO. Oh, and he's still open. No, not no text one. twice in a row. All right, Samsora gonna take the advantage in the set here. 
It looks like he's learning as he goes, whereas Leon already knows what to expect from Peach. Much more common matchup, as we were highlighting before. Bowser really not represented at the top level like this outside of Leon. And now the pressure is on him, guys. We're coming to game four. Is the Southern Bell going to secure his spot in grand finals? Or are we going to see this Bowser really bring on the heat? Because, like, it's only, like, these, a lot of these bouts are starting to become more frequent as the set gets on. And I feel like if they just keep on coming and coming and coming and coming, Samsora's not going to be able to have enough time to retreat and keep on backing off that space. And if you're allowing these instances where Leon is able to get more of his damage more frequently, that's just more opportunity to have stocks completely erupt on you. Such an even start here, but the hits are about to start flying for sure. You see these guys kind of take it slow at the beginning, just feel each other out, and then once someone gets a clean break, it never stops. Samsora taking the early advantage. All right, Leon gonna stop him cold on that aggression though. I'll be out of shield, such a good tool. Flying slam, and he keeps it going, man. All right, what's the ledge trap gonna be? Samsora <laughs> aggressively just faring back on Sage. I love how he did jump from the ledge, double jump, low float, and then the forward air. That's further than any other character can get off the edge like that, but man, gonna drop the first stock. Samsora looking good to advance to grand finals on the winner's side. I feel like Samsora is doing a great job of picking up on the little habits that Leon has as far as where he's positioning himself for his punish. He recognizes that those explosive punishes are going to be really dangerous for Peach. As we're going to see the flying quest come down once again. However, when you see Leon trying to crouch walk, that little walk, it doesn't do any help for trying to minimize that hurt box or trying to misposition Bowser. And Samsora is taking advantage of that multiple times now. Turn up to grab, all right. Manages to tech out of the follow-up, but still not a great spot. Peach with center stage. Samsora showing no signs of giving it up. Oh, the footstool though, actually interrupting his hit. And that's gonna be Leon taking the first stock. Still in it by all means, about 100% down, but that's like four hits from Bowser. Plus we can see a fire breath take 50 real quick. Yeah, he just puts it out. Although, Samsora has done a very good job of avoiding that situation just by staying still or pulling turnips and preparing for the Fire Breath to reduce in size. Yeah, you can see Samsora always just one step further away from Leon than he's expecting him to be. I love that floating over, like you said, man. Great way to mitigate that in neutral. A lot of other characters, they'll just have to force Bowser to keep breathing until uh, the stream is short enough right. that it doesn't hit their block anymore. Another important note about the fact that a lot of this pressure from Sora is coming out of the low flow aerials is the fact that Flying Fortress out of shield isn't as reliable as an out of shield option as we've typically seen from Leon because a lot of this boxing isn't really happening on the ground. Sam is able to peel away before it becomes a real issue. Leon taking some huge risks here, just tries to call the jump from ledge out, I would assume, with forward smash. Ooh, the sour spot from the up smash too. Leon's putting it all out there. And you just see how this character struggles so hard to get down from the air, to get off of the edge. His options out of disadvantage are horrible, but when he's in control, that's when he's so dangerous, just because every single opening is so much damage. Leon playing super passively, trying to figure out a route to center stage. It's not going to get him intercepted. Oh, off Go the top. The press off. Nah, it's not going to do it. We've seen Leon trying to shark around, looking for the bear, but he's not finding his opportunity. Back there, definitely not doing much. Now forcing air dodges out of the recoveries. I feel like Samsora has done a great job at being able to condition Leon to respond to these turnups. Yeah, by holding shield particularly, and that's what gets him all of these empty floats into grab. Also, the turnups just so bad for Bowser off the time. stage. Yep, gonna yep. float, give him access to forward air and close the set out. Wow, we definitely had some really high hopes going into this winner's finals. Leon certainly delivered at the beginning of the set, but Samsora just able to rally up, stay clutch, stay composed and pull that one out three to one. Really convincing finish, honestly. Samsora did such a, he had such a strict plan for how to handle that matchup. And right, he right. executed it flawlessly. The air was uncontested almost the entirety of the match. Yeah, I think Leon really struggled to get down, really struggled to get off the edge, and that's where we saw Samsora take all of those hits. Plus, once he did get a clean conversion, just on the big body of Bowser, it's so easy to keep right. it rolling. And um, Leon, certainly to his credit, got his licks in, but it just wasn't enough, even against a, lighter, floatier character like Peach just wasn't connecting enough times to make it matter. And I, I like the Battlefield counter pick. You got a lot of those flying slams off of the platforms, but you just saw that having to go to center stage to hit the top platform is what kept Peach alive so many times. So really well done to both players, but congrats to Sam Sora repping Florida, making it to the winner's side of Grand Finals. He's got one of three potential opponents coming up. And let's not forget, Leon